Welcome to Turning Inward. Our intention today is to open your heart and nurture your spirit as you travel on the road without miles, moving inward on your epic and personal journey of self-discovery. I am Rebecca Polvey, your co-host, and I'm here with Dr. Vivian Carrasco. This is the second episode of our spring 2015 season. We are excited to continue to share concepts from Love Being Human with you and grateful that you are here with us. Today, we'll be exploring the concept of perspective together. This podcast offers you the opportunity to explore new perspectives through compelling interviews with beautiful human beings and words of wisdom and love. The show was created to guide and inspire you. If you're looking for more meaning in your day-to-day life, if you're looking to be wowed by everyday people, if you're on a journey to joy, peace of mind, freedom, or a wild new adventure, then honey, you are in the right place. Welcome to Turning Inward with Dr. Vivian. Thank you, Rebecca. How are you today? Oh, I am fabulous, Vivian. Thank you. (laughs) How are you doing today? I'm good. Thank you so much. Oh, the sun is shining. It is just a lovely day. I really like looking out the window and seeing that sunshine. Oh. Yeah, so I have um, four questions for you today, Vivian. This one got me a little excited. I kept going. Sometimes three is a struggle, and then sometimes my brain goes into overdrive. So... And, you know, part of this, um, we, we talked about transform previously, and I thought, oh, well, I was thinking about perspective. I was thinking about transform. And um, anyways, the first question, uh, perspective, I think, could be considered how we perceive things. Um, they Perhaps you could say they go through our filters and then enter our thinking. Um, and maybe we could think of it as each person has their own filters and they perhaps interpret those things according to those filters. And would it be true to say that things can be described as to be not working according to our filter? Like, how do we recognize and take a step to look at things from a different perspective? We move away from our thinking, very honestly. We move, you, you started out with saying, you know, I'm looking out the window. You know, we can see from the eyes of our heart versus the eyes of our head. And so much of what we talk about in Love Being Human is moving that instinct and that intellect from, you know, just limping along with the brain to integrating, gosh, the unfathomable knowledge that we have in our hearts and in our bodies. So so we do see out as a filter we see out as a fog basically and so what we want to do in order to become more real and more true to ourselves is to move inward is to move away from sort of the battle between the outward and inward and create from from inside to outside and then I think that our reality changes and it really really shifts and it allows us to move forward or to step into our 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 best self well i love that vivian move away from our thinking the eyes of our heart versus the eyes of our head that's beautiful so um my next question is um perspective can be thought of as putting together your vision uh, to me from earlier experiences. And considering how your brain or memory works, you put together different memories. So this can be based on what you perceived you have experienced. So you remember this happened when you had that experience. And this could perhaps be impacted by a lot of different outside influences. So Vivian, does your perspective depend upon outside influences? No, no, No. it shouldn't. No, it shouldn't at all. And and I'm not going to should on anyone because there is no should, you know, <laughs> I, I'm going to speak from my own, my own sort of 
sort of epiphanies. No, 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 no. Nothing on the outside honestly frames us unless we allow it. We are born from within. We create our reality. And um, so you said a vision from an earlier experience. The experience I, I talked about in one of the other episodes that, you know, being from a large family taught me really early in life that I create the meaning around what's happening. And I think that that really threads well and connects to this question. You don't have vision if you're looking backward. You're you don't have vision if you're looking backward. If you're looking backward, you're dragging along thoughts and ideas. So your vision is what's being created. Your vision is the is the the force of transformation and healing. You have the power right now to look at that past experience and if it didn't heal you and if it didn't grow you you have an opportunity to look at it for the seed that it's allowing you that is giving you because we don't have to learn from from pain we can learn from delight and from joy we we choose that so i think i think that's what i think about that oh that's i really like that you know i, I myself i i always think um, if I catch myself, I don't want to be looking backwards um, and focusing on maybe something that happened in the past or a past hurt or whatever, because I miss something really good sitting in front of me. So I really Oh my like goodness, to, that's really yeah. that's really appropriate. Like not just sitting in front of you, but all around you. You know, uh, that's just yes, all around you. Like that's why I talk about your best yes so much. Your best yes is living through the life that's right in front of you like mm. giving that meaning like like i love to talk about goals and dreams but in a way that you create those feelings and those moments in your now in your current and in your present not not in a way that you wait until you get to to that place or till you have that thing or until you you know whatever it is a, a, a letter after your name, you know, a number of digits in your account, whatever that is, isn't the thing that you are, are, are looking for. That's a distraction. And it's so seductive. It is so, so seductive. So, um, yeah, I like that. Oh, well, Vivian, um, my third question is, um, I was thinking if you, I feel if you consider what love being human is about, or perhaps consider the whole dialogue of love being human, um, could we say that love being human has been born of your perspective, Vivian? I'm going to say no again. <laughs> <laughs> We're on a day of no's. I'm so, okay, I never know what to expect when I write the question. It's well, always I, interesting. Well, and, and you know you know what? The majority of the time, they're always yeses. So, but but this no is okay. They're not no's like they're, they're not. They're no's yeah. like instead of's. I, I wish that I could say it was born of my perspective. I wouldn't give myself that much credit. I think that it was a gift. I think that it was... It was something that bubbled up to the surface because I made a decision in my life to move towards love. I think very, very basically that's exactly what happened. I was in a position where I could make meaning out of a situation and say, this is scary. All these things could happen that are not good and be scared. I could be scared. I could run away from that fear and I could try to protect myself. All of us run away and we'll continue to try to run away. But sometimes... It's better when you stay. And so I stayed in that space, um, you know, when we were, quote unquote, forced to, to stop work. And I followed my being. I followed what wanted to be, where I wanted to become. You know, I t I've told this story before, but very basically, I let go of clocks and of society. And I said to myself, what do I want? What is, what is wanting to become of me? And after two full weeks of following my joy, of being in love, of loving, just loving and being in love and loving and being in love and going to yoga a lot, I, I sat in the hotel room 
no, I wasn't in a room. I sat in the hotel lobby waiting for Josh's flight to come in in total f- just wholeness. There was nothing I wanted, nothing I needed. I was whole. And that, that doesn't happen a lot to us as human beings. We don't sit and go, this is it. This is magic. This is it. And I sat there and that's when these words popped into my head. I don't know how they came to be. You know, and I could think them into being and say that it was because of all of the learning and all of the studying and all of the research, but I'm very honestly going to say they had nothing to do with me, that they were a gift that was allowed because I, I had my hands open. You know, I, I held out my palms, you know, face up in this, in this receiving way of I'm here. What do you want from me? Like, what can I do for you? And and I think that's what it was. You know, it's and I don't, it's not and 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 he, love being human is being born. You know, we you and I created this podcast. We brought this into into life because we wanted to understand the how and the who of love being human. We want to know what it is. And once we understand it, then we can deliver it in an even more powerful way to to people so that it can enlighten their minds and it can open their hearts and they can turn their own intuitive knowledge the knowledge of their heart and of their body into insight that's what love being human is it doesn't belong to me and it's not mine it it's it's a principle for people to follow to to alleviate their own suffering and help them move move towards what we say at the end of every podcast it is it is such such a core belief of mine that we can take inspired action. We can move purposefully in the world. And I think that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, in listening to the conversation today, I think I've come up with one last question. And that is since perception consists of input from different filters, um, and it's kind of what our brain creates, do you think of perspective perhaps that it is an illusion and not absolute oh definitely definitely there are... oh a yes a yes <laughs> oh yes yes perspective is never absolute you know imagine 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 when you're having a conversation with someone about something that happened to a group of you your perspective of that situation changes as you go into conversation as you have a dialogue with them and and you can't help but change it. So nothing is absolute in that it is firm. And if it is firm, if it is static, then it's dead. It's not growing. We're continuously growing, growing our vision, growing our reach, growing. You know, we're either, you know, if we're going to go back again to, to science and and the genetics of neuroplasticity and epigenetics and all that fun, nerdy stuff that I like to get into, it's it's a two lane highway, you know. We we are either growing and healing, or we are protecting and surviving. And so 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 we create the illusion, and we can make the illusion magical, or we can make the illusion hell. And you don't have to be in prison to be in prison. You don't have to have a cage to hold you in because we cage ourselves. I want to tell a story really quick that just came to mind. I um my goddaughter a few years ago had a had a birthday and I created this experience for her and for our family. And part of it was walking, you know, across the little brook in the backyard and moving into the high grass and finding these dinosaur eggs because she was a princess and she, you know, was going to, towards the castle. And and I created that we create all day long. We create all day long with our eyes. And I think that we just, you know, our practice here and what you and I are bringing into the world, Rebecca, is to help people create more with their hearts because it comes easy to you and I. It, it's, it's our natural way of being and that's just not it for a lot of people. You know, they have to practice and they have to mindfully move towards that. And and so I don't even know how to close that thought, but that's that's how we move away from the illusion. 
We create our own. We create our own. We co-create. We create it. We create it. That's it. We decide. And we create. And we do that again and again and again. Well, Vivian, thank you. Thank you very much. And we also thank our audience for being with us here today. And if you enjoyed the conversation, we invite you to connect with us by joining our inner circle at www.viviancarrasco.com. And I'll close with Vivian saying, remember, move with purpose, and take inspired action. Thank you for joining us today here on Turning Inward with Dr. Vivian. If the show moved the needle for you, please leave an honest review in iTunes. And also make sure you cruise on over to VivianCarrasco.com and join us for personal strategies and tips to help you move forward. Ciao, baby.